Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are given two points A and B and we are supposed to find the coordinates of point C that is on the Y axis. This is a very important information because this tells us that given a Y axis, which I'm going to just illustrate here very quickly this is my y axis and my x value x axis going to just put on the y x x axis huh? so any point on the y axis you must be able to see that the x coordinate is in fact zero okay so that is something that is very important which we would have to write it down we are going to let the point we already know is zero for x coordinate but we do not know the y coordinates of this point c so i'm going to let a letter or variable to denote this h for example will be the coordinates uh, of point C okay next thing is the next piece of information that they give us is that there's an equal distance equidistance of this point C from point A and B this means that AC and BC they are the same point C ma C to A and C to B the length is the same equal distance and with that in mind right I would then be able to apply this formula to find the length of AC and BC and to equate a equation to help us solve for H okay so that is the approach so my a negative 4 and 5 and my c 0 and h um, I, this is what i usually like to do so once i once i have decided which points are my x1 y1 and which point is my x2 y2 i would then apply the formula and that's where you will see me writing this down 0 minus uh, negative 4 bracket square plus h minus 5 bracket square that is for my ac for my bc again i would like to just make sure that I don't make careless mistake and this will be my x1 y1 this will be my x2 y2 and that's where I'm going to apply the formula again so I will have my 0 minus 7 oops bracket square plus my h minus 2 bracket square and I'm going to square both sides such that there uh, my next line there will no longer be a square root and this bracket square will be equals to 16 16 okay so this will be 16 I'm going to expand and simplify this to give me h square minus 2 times h times 5 plus 5 square equal again replicating this will give me a value of 49 and this will give me after I expand and simplify using the special algebraic product 
h square plus oops sorry should be minus 2 times h times 2 plus 2 square let's continue to expand and simplify all right so i would have h square minus 10 h 16 plus 5 square will be 41 and this will be equal to h square minus 4h and on the other side of the equation 49 plus 2 square will be equals to 53 and at this point here then I will start to simplify further I am going to minus h square on both sides so there is no longer h square I'm going to add 4h on both sides so that my right hand side there's no more h terms I am also going to minus 41 on both sides and once I done all those steps then this will be the next line I'm left with negative 10 h plus 4 h that will give me negative 6 h uh, 41 minus 41 is 0 so the other side I'm also left with 53 minus 6 41 that will be 12 so I'm going to divide by negative 6 on both sides so that I will be able to get what is the value of my h and that will be negative 2 therefore we have successfully find the coordinates of c 0 negative 2 so as you can see from this particular example the very important piece of information that you do need to know is that from this line point C is on the y-axis we are able to get the x-coordinate of the point C this is really important because we would then only need to find the y-coordinate of this point C and we could do that from the next piece of information where they told us that point C is equidistant from points A and C so I th that is where I apply the formula for the length of the line segment thereafter I have successfully formed an equation I solve for the unknown and if you do like this video do give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching have a nice day